This topic provides an overview of the Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or CAT-ET. It describes the screens for both dealer and customer ET, including the menu bar and toolbar. This topic also points out the difference between dealer ET and customer ET. Caterpillar Electronic Technician is a service tool designed to run on a personal computer, or PC, under Microsoft Windows. With CAT-ET, you can display parameter status, such as temperatures, pressures, etc., simultaneously, view and clear active and log diagnostics, or display the current configuration of an electronic control module, or ECM. CAT-ET can perform these as well as many other tasks. CAT-ET is designed to communicate with an ECM through a communication data link. CAT-ET allows you to obtain data, analyze it, and then diagnose existing and potential problems. The CAT-ET screens have common Windows application screen elements. This topic will point out the various screen elements and give you brief examples of each. This is the main CAT Electronic Technician screen. Notice that at the top of the screen is a title bar. It displays the application that you are running, which in this case is CAT Electronic Technician. The menu bar and toolbar are below the title bar. The menu bar provides you access to items that you will need to use as you run this application. These will be discussed in a moment. The toolbar provides push buttons that serve as shortcuts to CAT-ET functions. The CAT-ET functions are displayed in the middle of the screen, with the status bar at the bottom. The status bar has three sections. The left section displays explanations or instructions for using CAT-ET. The middle section indicates if a file within file management is open. The right section displays which ECM is connected to CAT-ET. Like other Windows applications, pull-down menu items are accessed by using your mouse or keyboard commands. Each menu item has a letter underlined. To expand menu items with the keyboard, press and hold the Alt key and the underlined letter. Then you may move about with the tab and arrow keys. The CAT-ET menu bar consists of eight drop-down menu options. The example screen shows that all eight options are active. When ET is not connected to an ECM, some of the menu options are inactive and unavailable until you connect to an ECM. Like other Windows applications, a menu option that is not available is either grayed out or does not appear. Some items are grayed out when the option does not apply to the ECM to which you are connected. Options that are not available with certain Caterpillar product families will not display at all. Now let's look at the menu bar functions individually. Remember that not all CAT-ET features are supported on all Caterpillar products. Therefore, some menu items may not be found when connected to certain ECMs. The File menu contains functions for creating a new file, opening a file, closing a file, using file management to manage your CAT-ET files, setting up print options, and exiting CAT-ET. The Diagnostics menu contains functions to assist you with diagnosing a potential problem with your Caterpillar product. The drop-down menu allows you to choose active diagnostic codes, log diagnostic codes, diagnostic tests, events, and input troubleshooting. The information menu features are generally used to gain valuable general information that can help to document the use of a Caterpillar product or diagnose a problem. Included under this menu item are the following functions. Status screen, ECM summary, Current totals, history, data logger, real-time graphing, trip segment, trip histogram, custom data, and trip reset. Some of these menu bar functions are explained in more detail later.
The service menu allows you access to configuration, copy configuration, parameter lockout, maintenance indicator, ECM date time, calibrations, and driver reward. These features are made available to provide information regarding service-related issues. The Utilities menu allows you to record and view snapshot documents, run the WinFlash program, and view customer passwords. The customer version of ET does not include the WinFlash and View Passwords options. The Data Link menu item allows you to select the ECM and connect or disconnect CAT ET from the data link. The Settings menu allows you to make changes to different setting options in CAT ET. You can customize the CAT ET toolbar and function keys, select the communication interface device, select communication ports, set file locations, set language choice, change the size of the toolbar, hide or display the toolbar, and license CAT ET. The Help menu allows you to access the online help file, information about CAT ET, and Run ET Trainer, which allows you to run CAT ET in a training mode. The toolbar provides quick access to several menu options. The toolbar is located just below the menu bar. To access a toolbar item, move the pointer over the toolbar button and click the left mouse button. When you position the pointer over a toolbar button, a tooltip displays. The tooltip tells you the function that the button performs. The Status Toolbar button provides quick access to the Select Group screen. The Active Diagnostic Codes Toolbar button provides quick access to the Active Diagnostic Codes screen. The Log Diagnostic Codes Toolbar button provides quick access to the Log Diagnostic Codes screen. The Logged Event Codes Toolbar button provides quick access to the Logged Event Codes screen. The ECM Summary Toolbar button provides quick access to the ECM Summary screen. The Configuration Tool Toolbar button provides quick access to the Configuration screen. The Connect Toolbar button provides quick access to the Connect function under the Data Link menu. The Disconnect Toolbar button provides quick access to the Disconnect function under the Data Link menu. The Enable ET Trainer Toolbar button provides quick access to ET Trainer menu items. The Disable ET Trainer Toolbar button provides quick access to Disable ET Trainer menu items. The Flash Memory Toolbar button provides quick access to the Flash Memory option under the Utilities menu. This toolbar button and the menu item are only available in Dealer ET. The Exit Toolbar button provides quick access to Exit option under the File menu. The Help Toolbar button provides quick access to the Help option under the Help menu. This concludes the overview topic. Click the Play button to view this topic again, or click on the Menu button to return to the main menu. This topic provides an introduction to the Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. It shows you how to set up your preferences, 
hook up the communication adapter, connect and disconnect from the data link, and how to exit the Caterpillar Electronic Technician. For this example, we will demonstrate setting up preferences prior to connecting a personal computer, or PC, to the communication adapter or machine. Start by launching the Electronic Technician software from the Start menu. The CAT Electronic Technician window displays and attempts to connect to the Electronic Control Module, or ECM. If the Electronic Technician installed on your PC has not been licensed, you will be prompted by a message window that gives you the option to license the software. If you choose not to license the software, you can only use the functions that do not require a data link connection. The electronic technician will attempt to connect to an ECM. Remember, for this example, we are not connected to a communication adapter. You can click the Stop Connect button to continue, or ET will time out and display another window. The electronic technician will attempt to connect for several seconds. If it does not locate an ECM, it will display a window prompting you that it could not establish a connection. For this topic, we will click the Cancel button. However, if you were actually trying to make a connection, you would check your cable connections and make sure the machine is turned on. Then click the Retry button to establish a connection. The CAT Electronic Technician window displays. Let's begin by setting preferences for the software and hardware connections. The preferences that can be set are the communication interface device and ports, the directories, languages, and non-critical confirmation messages. To access the Preferences screen, choose Preferences from the Settings menu. The Preferences window displays. This window displays four tabs from which you can set various preferences. The tabs are Communications, Directories, Regional, and Confirmation. The Preferences window displays automatically the first time you launch CAT ET after installing it. For this topic, we will only discuss the Communications Preferences tab. You use Communications tab to tell ET which communication interface device and the communications port you are using. You need to select the communication interface device you are using from the drop-down list box. You also need to specify the port to which you will be connecting the communication device. For this topic, we will change the port selection to COM1. COM1 is the default port and the most commonly used port. Advanced preferences are available by clicking the Advanced button. If you need assistance with the Advanced Communication Preferences, refer to your User's Manual or use CAT ET Online Help by clicking on the Help button or pressing the F1 key on the keyboard. When you are finished changing preferences, click the OK button. Once the preferences are set, you need to exit the Electronic Technician software and make sure that your communication adapter is properly connected. To close the Electronic Technician software, choose Exit from the File menu. A message window displays prompting you to verify that you want to exit. Click the Yes button to exit the software. The Communication Adapter 2 connects between the service connector on the Caterpillar product you are testing and your PC. If the service connector is powered when you have the Communication Adapter 2 connected to the data link, the power light on the Communication Adapter 2 will glow.
When power is first applied, the communication adapter 2 performs a diagnostic test for a short period by sequentially turning on all of the lights for a few seconds from the bottom to the top of the front panel. You need to install the communication adapter 2 software onto your PC. The communication adapter 2 installation software is on the same CD as CAT ET. You need to connect your communication adapter to your PC. Align and attach one end of the serial cable to the PC cable connection on the communication adapter 2. Connect the other end of the cable to the serial port of your PC. After you have connected the COM adapter to the PC, secure one end of the data link cable you have chosen to the data link connection on the communication adapter 2. Secure the other end of the data link cable to the diagnostic connector on the product you wish to test. If the data link is accessed, the power light on the communication adapter 2 will glow and the self-diagnostic test will begin. If for some reason the communication connection is not established, check each of the cables to make sure the physical connections are secure and retry. Now you have access to the data link through your communication adapter too. Once all of the cables are securely connected, you can restart the electronic technician and begin communication through the data link. Select Caterpillar ET from the Programs menu, then select Electronic Technician from the sub-menu. The CAT Electronic Technician window displays and attempts to connect to the ECM. A connection screen is displayed while CAT ET is attempting to establish communications with the data link. If the attempt to connect fails, CAT ET will provide suggested steps for correcting the problem. If one ECM is found, the ECM summary window is displayed. If multiple ECMs are found, an ECM selector window displays. For this topic, three ECMs are found. You need to choose the ECM you want to work with by selecting one from the list and clicking the OK button. The ECM summary window displays. This window provides useful information regarding the ECM and CAT ET. This window can be accessed by selecting ECM Summary from the Information menu item or by clicking on the ECM Summary toolbar item. Notice there is information regarding available ECMs, data gathered from the ECM, and CAT ET information on this screen. Printing is available from this screen by pushing the print button.